Here's what I did not account for. Um... Remember, I kind of solved the Eagles' problems for him last week. I did, I did qualify. Yeah, you go trade. You go solution. trade him. You go trade. I, did, I said. I said. I said. If you are committed to Carson Wentz and that contract, mm-hmm. which no contract is untradeable, but if you're going, if you're and that one isn't to either. Carson oh, Wentz, by the way, I got a little news. I got a little news. That contract is not uh, untradeable either. That is a. It is not the burdensome contract that has been made out to be. And so if the Eagles wanted to move on from Carson Wentz, it is not some, oh, wow, they can never figure this out. That is not true. I don't think anybody ever said that. I don't think well, or or it's, not, it's not cumbersome. It's, it's, it's expensive. A, it's, a big, it's a big cap hit. That's all we ever said. It's a big cap hit. But it doesn't have rather, to be. It doesn't have to be. 20, it's going to be 20 plus million it. regardless. Bottom line is this. All right. That's not true. But anyway, if ahead. you're committed to Carson Wentz, if you're committed to Carson Wentz and – you do want to keep in my solution that I said a couple of times last week was they're going to have to trade Jalen Hurts. They can't have a viable alternative behind him. No different than they couldn't keep Nick Foles after Nick Foles won the Super Bowl and he became a free agent. They couldn't choose Foles over Wentz. Likewise, if they're committed to Carson, they can't come back with both next year. So I was like, Mm -hmm. the solution is, again, if you're committed to Carson, barring Jalen Hurts balling out of control the rest of the way, you trade Jalen Hurts you know, to give Carson Wentz his peace of mind that he seems to be lacking despite his contractual commitment. Well, Jalen Hurts, so far, so good. 160 yards passing, 100 yards rushing. They beat the Saints in the number one defense. He's starting against Arizona. He's probably going to start for the rest of the season. So, unless this was a mirage, and I don't think it is out of Jalen Hurts. Look at that bottom headline by Marcus. Look at that bottom headline by Marcus Hayes. Come on, Marcus. Come but on, I'll, I'll, man. But I'll just tell you this. I'll just tell you this. The thing that I got wrong was the idea that if Jim, uh, follow, follow me here. Let's play this out. If Jalen Hurts plays well the rest of the way and takes him to the playoffs even or just looks like the real deal with a smaller sample size and the Eagles do what I said and trade Jalen Hurts in order to make Carson Wentz more comfortable, it'll actually have the opposite effect. The ghost of Jalen Hurts will haunt Carson Wentz in Philadelphia. So if Jalen Hurts plays like this, not only is he playing himself into the starting job, but he's without question, contract or not, playing Carson Wentz out of town. Hello, Frank Reichen. No, I I got you. I got you. Look, they've got options. Your plan uh, plan was a good one. Chris Sims agreed with you. Well, last week when you said, hey, if you really want to make this about Carson, then you trade the chip that is Jalen Hurts. Well, you can also flip this around. If you wanted to make this about Jalen, you can trade the chip, and you can trade the chip that is Carson Wentz. It might be as simple as a bad fit now in Philadelphia. It could be a mental thing. That happens. I, I, I hate that we never bring that up in sports as if, these, especially in football, as if these guys, these helmeted guys with shoulder pads, these tough guys don't have any kind of issues that they're dealing with based on what their employers are saying or doing. So I think it could be very well could be a mental thing with yeah. Carson Wentz in Philadelphia, and he could go somewhere else and be fine. I expect it. It's I think be he's hard. a really good quarterback. It, yeah. It's got, who, Wentz, you mean, or Hurts? Yeah, oh, Wentz. Yeah. Wentz is yeah. a really yeah. good quarterback, yeah. and we haven't seen the best of him. He's 27, and he's got a lot of good football left in him. He may not have good football left in Philadelphia. And also, yeah. uh, being you know, just keeping it totally 100, I may have an agenda because I think he looked good in, Pitts- uh, in, uh, in New England. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, you know, so, so, so not – so not Indianapolis where everybody's pegging him to go. No, uh, and no, has man. been for a while. He was like, Thank I got you news. Quarterback. You can trade Carson Wentz. Like, we know that. But, but wait a second. This is this the thing, though. Speaking of New England. All right. Speaking of New England. I'm not, I'm not surprised by how Jalen Hurts played yesterday. Uh, I told you I wasn't going to be surprised. Last week, I told you I wasn't going to be surprised if he balled out. It reminds me of, it's not apples to apples. But, like, One of the first times I met Tom Brady, I'm a young kid. He's a young kid. You know, I don't remember. I think I might have been an intern. How about that humble brag? How about that that sly humble brag you just had there? You know, 
That's not even a humble brag. <laughs> I'm talking to the dude that wrote the book on him. Why am I? Well, you know, that's not even a humble brag. Not a, like, think about the company I'm with. I was know, an intern. It was two. One of the first times I, I was. And it was one of the Tom first Brady. of many bad questions that I asked. But I, that back then, you know, our bad questions weren't televised. I'm just trying to make conversation with him. I think I remember asking something to the effect of like, you know, nerves or jitters, or, you know, playing in in, in then Foxborough Stadium. And I remember him looking at me like I was crazy. It's like, man, I played in Ann Arbor. I played in the big house. You know, I, I mean, I played, I, yeah, I played in front of bigger crowds than this. This is nothing. And looking back, when you watched how poised he was, as we, as we know, you know, and maybe he would have been that way regardless, it made sense that, he, that, that that would be his mentality. I'm not saying that Carson Wentz in North Dakota State wasn't a, a fit for Philadelphia. Some people have. I'm not going to oversimplify his struggles that way. What I will say is, when you got a guy like Jalen Hurts, who played at, at Alabama as a freshman, started at Alabama as a freshman, loses his job, doesn't transfer, comes in, wins the SEC championship in the same stadium where he lost his job the year before the Tua Tonga Balloa, goes to Oklahoma, which has got a hell of a tradition himself, itself, right. follows two Heisman right. Trophy winners, and is a Heisman runner-up. I'm just saying one guy looks built for this, and that guy is Jalen Hurts. Ooh, ouch. Say ouch if you can't say amen. Ouch. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, hey, listen. Hey, hey, Carson has played great. I, Jalen Hurts. I, I just, didn't see that he's, punch he, it, he's as prepared as you could be coming out of college for this set of circumstances. He's just, Come on, he's like, just, but, he's but just, still. Got the, he's just wired that way. I mean, that's not a shot it's at Carson game. Wentz, but by comparison, it's, it's, it's one is. game. It's, it is. It's one game. Okay, maybe. It was a really good game uh, that nobody really them expected them to win. I'm not. I told. Well, I didn't. I, I don't do my bet your money. I didn't pick him, but I. I remember. I think I remember saying week this either. last week. But I remember saying this last week. Like Jalen Hurts is gonna ball out. Like I. Like I didn't. I, this didn't surprise me that he played this way. Um, is he gonna sustain it? We'll see. He can go to Arizona this week and lay an egg. But I just think he's. Yeah. He's got. He's got a makeup that lends itself to handling this pressure situation. Philadelphia ain't for everybody, and that's not an indictment of Carson Wentz. It just ain't for everybody. And we talked all it was season for him. long about the number of quarterbacks. He was doing great. Was, he was doing yeah, just fine. But that's not, but that's not until the, he wasn't. But that's not, right. And that's the true test is when things are going poorly in a place like Philly. Not when you're throwing 33 touchdowns and seven picks. I like Carson Wentz a lot. I do. But the list is long of quarterbacks, Michael, and we've talked about them, that flame out in one place for whatever reason and go somewhere else and have a phenomenal career. You, you, I, you, I'll repeat what you just said. He's got some great football ahead of him. It just may not be Philadelphia for whatever reason. Yeah, what, what's it? give me the line again. Hey, go somewhere else and be... No, what's the line? Be great oh, somewhere oh, else? Oh, go, go, go be great somewhere else, yeah. That's what you, go that's what be you great said. somewhere yeah, else. Yeah. When you terminate C somebody's employment, go be great somewhere else. C yeah. CEO friend of, of Michael Smith to his yeah. uh, employees before he lets them go. You know... Be great somewhere else. No, man, I want to be great here. <laughs> no, you got to be great somewhere else. Hey, thanks for watching Brother from Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.